In this lecture, we will review cognitive development in adolescence to include Piaget's theory section on the formal operational stage and a review of an article entitled Cognitive Development in the Teen Years by Sanford Medicine Children's Health. But first, what is cognitive development? Well, Cognitive development is the process by which we come to acquire, understand, organize, and learn to use information in various ways. Now let's review Piaget's theory. Jean Piaget is famous for his theories regarding changes in cognitive development that occur as we move from infancy to adulthood. Cognitive development results from the interplay between innate capabilities, which is nature, and environmental influences, which is nurture. Now, children progress through four distinct stages, each representing various cognitive abilities and world comprehension. The sensory motor stage is from birth to about two years old. The pre-operational stage from two to seven years old. The concrete operational stage is from about seven to 11 years old. And the formal operational stage is between 11 years old and beyond. Now, Let's review the formal operational stage, and according to Piaget, that's 12 and over. And some theories say it's really between 11 and 12 and older. But anyway, the formal operational period begins at about 11 to 12 years old. As adolescents enter this stage, they gain the ability to think in an abstract manner. The ability to combine and classify items in a more sophisticated way and the capacity for higher order reasoning. Adolescents can think systematically and reason about what might be as well as what is. Not everyone achieves this stage. This allows them to understand politics ethics, and science fiction, as well as to engage in scientific reasoning. Adolescents can deal with abstract ideas, such as they can understand division and fractions without having to actually divide things up and solve hypothetical, like imaginary issues. Let's review the major characteristics and developmental changes. And this is from simplypsychology.org. Concrete operations are carried out on things, whereas formal operations are carried out on ideas. Formal operational thought is entirely freed from physical and perceptual constraints. During this stage, adolescents can deal with abstract ideas. For example, no longer needing to think about slicing up cakes or sharing sweets to understand division and fractions. They can follow the form of an argument without actually having to think in terms of specific examples. Adolescents can deal with hypothetical problems with many possible solutions. For example, if asked, what would happen if money were abolished in one hour's time? They could speculate about many possible consequences. So. From about 12 years, children can follow the form of a logical argument without reference to its content. During this time, people develop the ability to think about abstract concepts and logically test hypotheses. This stage sees the emergence of scientific thinking, formulating abstract theories and hypotheses when faced with a problem. Now, we've got to talk about individual differences. In regards to culture and abstract thinking, 
cultures emphasize different kinds of logical or abstract thinking. For example, in societies with a strong oral tradition, the ability to hold complex narratives might develop prominently. And in regards to gender and ethics, discussions about morality and ethics can be influenced by gender norms. For instance, in some cultures, girls might be encouraged to prioritize community harmony, while boys might be encouraged to prioritize individual rights. Okay, so here is the article that I found quite amazing that I wanted to share with you entitled Cognitive Development in the Teen Years by Sanford Medicine Children's Health. What is cognitive development? Well, as stated earlier, cognitive development means the growth of a child's ability to think and reason. This growth happens differently from ages 6 to 12 and from ages 12 to 18. Children ages 6 to 12 years old develop the ability to think in concrete ways. These are called concrete operations. These things are called concrete because they're done around objects and events. This includes knowing how to combine addition, separate subtraction or divide, order, alphabetize and sort, transform objects and actions, change things such as five pennies equals one nickel. Ages 12 to 18 is called adolescence, and some textbooks and some theorists actually state adolescence is between anywhere from 12 to 20 years old. Kids and teens in this age group do more complex thinking. This type of thinking is also known as formal logical operations. This includes the ability to do abstract thinking. This means thinking about possibilities. Reason from known principles. This means forming own new ideas or questions. Consider many points of view. This means to compare or debate ideas or opinions. And to think about the process of thinking. This means being aware of the act of thought processes. Now, how cognitive growth happens during the teen years is something we need to understand. From about 12 to 18 or 20, children grow in the way they think. They move from concrete thinking to formal logical operations. It's important to note that each child moves ahead at their own rate in their own ability to think in more complex ways. Each child develops their own view of the world. Some children may be able to use logical operations in schoolwork long before they can use them for personal problems. When emotional issues come up, they can cause problems with a child's ability to think in complex ways. The ability to consider possibilities and facts may affect decision making, and this can happen in either positive or negative ways. Now let's talk about the types of cognitive growth through the years. A child in early adolescence uses more complex thinking focused on personal decision making in school and at home. They begin to show use of formal logical operations in schoolwork. They begin to question authority and society's standards and begins to form and speak their own thoughts and views on many topics. You may hear your child talk about which sports or groups he or she prefers, what kinds of personal appearance is attractive, and what parental rules should be changed. Now, a child in middle adolescence has some experience in using more complex thinking processes. 
They expand their thinking to include more philosophical and futuristic concerns. They often question more intensively and often analyzes more intensively. They think about and begin to form their own code of ethics. For example, what do I think is right? They think about different possibilities and begin to develop their own identity. For example, who am I? They think about and begins to systematically consider possible future goals like what do I want to do? They think about beginnings and to make their own plans. Also, they begin to think about long term. Uses systematic thinking and begins to influence relationships with others. Now, a child in late adolescence uses complex thinking to focus on less self-centered concepts and personal decision making. They have increased thoughts about global concepts such as justice, history, politics, and patriotism. They often develop idealistic views on specific topics or concern. They may debate and develop intolerance of opposing views. They begin to focus on making career decisions and focus thinking on their emerging role in adult society. Now you may ask, how can I encourage my child <laughs> in regards to healthy cognitive growth? Well, to help encourage positive and healthy cognitive growth in your teen, you can include them in discussions about a variety of topics, issues, and current events. Encourage your child to share ideas and thoughts with you. Encourage your teen to think independently and develop their own ideas. Help your child in goal setting. Challenge them to think about possibilities for the future. Compliment and praise your teen for well thought out decisions and help them in re-evaluating poorly made decisions. Again, when we're talking about cognitive development, you must understand that cognitive development is the process by which we come to acquire, understand, organize and learn to use information in various ways.